Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the 365 Indies Jam. The 365 Indies Jam had the theme of this should not be here, and some of the games may not be in English. I can only read English, so we'll see how it goes. I've been playing all the games that were entered for about a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description, and all my info will also be in the description. At the end, I might have an article of my favourites, and that'll be on Game Jolt's Fireside, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you very much for watching, liking, and commenting. Next. This game is in Portuguese. The title is in Portuguese, and the title translated into English is This Should Not Be Here. Um, sure, we'll have music, I think. Thank you for the feedback. Vamos. Probably let's go. What is this? This should not be there. I'm guessing. I'm totally guessing what this says. Pronto. Uh, I, I don't know. We follow them. Uh, because a program? Something about Twitter? I don't speak Portuguese. I don't know what this says. See, this is the awkward thing about playing games that totally aren't in English. This game relies on me reading this, and I. Nope. Uh, teleportado. Was I teleported? Who knows? Now there's a circle. Uh, vos controlas. Okay. I don't know what I mean. Mouse? The word mouse was there, maybe? Oh, yes, we could click. I don't know how to move, though. Oh, arrow keys. Ho ho ho, look at this. Am I trying to defeat this guy by shooting him? I hope so, because he's definitely shooting me, so he must be a bad guy, because I'm definitely the good guy. This is quite a challenging game. He's not dying. I don't even know what my health is. I can probably just take the hits. Yay! Got him. Alright, game over. That was interesting. I wish I knew what it was talking about. Next. We're playing Vosse Ganho. Which is Portuguese for you one, I think. It told me to do something weird. It told me to zoom in to 75, like zoom in 75%, click play, get this error, fix the zoom, and then hit enter again. So we did. I like the look of this little knight. Oh, he can kill people. Perfect. I don't need to do anything. He just kills them. I just need to run. Bam. Good job, little knight. Kill all these little ghost knights. I like the little popping sound they make when they die. I didn't go the right... Yeah, I didn't quite go the right way, did I? Bam. Very simple game, but it's very smooth. It feels well made. I want to kill all of them. Oh, we're doing pretty good. I'm definitely winning. The cat. Okay. Don't know what that says, but apparently I love the cat, maybe. <laughs> Next. We're playing What the Box. This game is already greenlit, I'm pretty sure. I've seen this everywhere, basically. A load of people have been writing about it and such. Let's, let's just join someone's server because we could do that. Uh, pick blue. Team deathmatch. You have five minutes to hit the most kills. By the end, the team with the most kills wins. Okay. I'm going to suck at this, aren't I? Can I use my controller? My controller is not even plugged in. Okay. Right. Right, I think we're supposed to... Oh. Did you know that holding a box kind of makes you run faster? I feel like we were definitely supposed to kill someone. But you can blend in with the boxes and then find another box that's not blending in and kill them. Well, that's like a different viewing. Alright, so they're killing each other in there. I'm not very good at games that require me to shoot enemies and stuff. 
but I guess we'll have to get over that and just go. You're blue. I'm blue. We're fine. Awesome. Hey, look at There's a poster for the jab. That's pretty cool. I feel like I heard someone try to kill me as I left, but I'm not quite sure because you can just blend in. Nope, that sounds like death. Well, you can't tell it's our color. I don't know how to play this game at all. I feel like a different box came in and killed that box that I was trying to kill. Which is fine. <laughs> this is a really well made game and it looks like a lot of fun. Especially since you can just blend in and hide and wait. Did I kill him? Nope, he killed me. I suck. <laughs> Next. Just a minor correction, that last game was not greenlit yet, so vote for it. Next we're playing this game, which translates to where is my salad in Portuguese. We'll find out where your salad is. Right now it looks like your salad is very much turnips. I don't think it liked that. Where is my salad? I don't know where your salad is. He's oh, so now I'm a turnip. Oh, that's cool. This looks really cool. This also looks very, very hard. <laughs> oh, it's coming closer to me, so maybe I should just wait. No, don't, don't go away. Come closer. Yeah, there you go. No, it only moves back and forth a small, small area. I don't think I can reach you, platform. Oh, I can double jump. Okay. Oh, and this is a bouncy platform. Ah, this is very, very challenging. Okay. Nope. Uh, can't even get past the first little area. Nope. I very much like the look of it though. I'm just not good at games it seems today. Oh, wait, the whole world changed? Uh, cause I got the salad piece probably. No, it's an even harder bit. <laughs> Next. We're playing Nightvania, which is also in English, which is fantastic for us. Alright, Gabe. Hi, young warrior. Who are you? Sorry, I'm the guardian of the dimension. This dimension? What do you mean? Yes, you are in another dimension. To be exact, we are on dimension 45. So, what am I doing here? Well, I brought you. What? Why? Well, some time ago, a mysterious object came here from this dimension. This generated some kind of incoherence in this world, bringing creatures of other realities. And I don't know the effects that it can cause if I stay here. It can even destroy this universe. In your world, you're a hero. That's why I brought you. I beg you, please save this world. But why me? With so many universes, must be, must be other heroes. Well, Goku is busy saving the Earth one more time. Since it's so, for me it's okay. I will save your world. Thank you, warrior. Good luck in your journey. I didn't eat, I feel like I should eat the ice cream, but I don't know how. That one? Oh, okay, game saved. Are you a bad guy? You must be, because you died and there were hearts. Nope. One hit and you're dead. Wow. What a brutal world. I do have, like, really good knockback, though, so. The graphics for this are adorable. No, you have a gun. Why do you have a gun? This world seems so peaceful. Okay, can't go up that way, so we'll go down. Game saved. Oh, I jumped right into the bullet. This is pretty cute, though. Next. 
we're playing paper wings. Alright, so we're this bird. And I think the idea is we... What? I think the idea is we um, died in a plane accident, but we are the father of this son. And now you must like sort of watch over him and protect him from nightmares and losing his blanket at night and stuff like that. I'm trying to set up a bed frame. There we go. Now we shall watch him. Actually, I'm not up high enough. To I don't know what he's saying. Maybe I should be on the headboard. Let's take a peek at the outside. Well, that looked weird. Weird. Is this like where we stay? It's the optimal place for sitting. Am I carrying this? What's going on out here? Can't really go out there. Does he need the pillow? Oh, it was like a blanket. Oh, I covered the blanket. I covered him up in a blanket. I thought he already had one. We're playing 365 Anos Luz, which Google Translate says is Portuguese for light years. Um, okay, so this is the instructions. I'm going to unplug my controller because I don't want to use it. Directions. Z and X and L and R. Z and X or L and R. Okay, now I use arrow keys. I don't know what any of this says. Alright, so Nex and L and R don't do anything. Oh, the arrow keys do this though. That looks weird. Oh. So there's something there. R does that, which is nothing. So Nex don't seem to do anything either. Maybe we'll just move on. That looks like the end. You kind of freeze there. How do I use you? Oh, I click on it. Um, so I think I got this plant. Huh. Oh, so we can play two of these people. Wow, this is, this is gonna be a challenge. Why do you keep changing color, guy? Alright, maybe I just need to get to the third one, and then I need to get the red one in there. As soon as I'm here, we're gonna go to, like, here. Nope. It's a very interesting game. It needs the blue to go through first. Alright, because that changes them. And then that... Luth went through that one, so that changes them. Oh, this is this is challenging. This is quite challenging. Okay. Yay! All right, wait for the platform. Awesome. <laughs> Next. We're playing Brick Trip Runner. Which I guess is designed to also be on mobile. Because you can kind of move left and right by tapping the sides of the screen. Or using arrow keys. I guess we're throwing money at this guy. And we're also wearing a dog. Are we paying them for our vote? Vote me, Mayor Dog of Dogville. 
Well, there's a bit of story at the bottom of the page, but it's in Portuguese. So. Okay, come on. Oh, I lost. Huh. Maybe he got there too fast. Like. Oh, because each time I miss, it goes up? Oh, here I was thinking it was great that I was it was fine for missing because the, the number was going up, but now I'm actually just playing the game wrong. I feel like it's going up regardless of like the money that I hit to donate. Next. We're playing this game, which Google Translate tells me is called The Adventures of Audemars the Philosopher. It's in Portuguese. So I'm this philosopher. I've got a bunny on my head and there's a piece of toast as the sun. Something about a milkshake. Milkshake? What is a milkshake? You hit space to philosophize. Philosophus. Yeah. And that brings you into this world of question, it looks like. I don't know. Is a milkshake, is a big milkshake big enough for dinner? I'm guessing at what I think this stuff means, so I apologize if it's not correct. Porque in Spanish is why or because, so why something, maybe. What is the difference between something and chocolate? I don't need these questions in my life. I need to know why there's a bunny on my f my head. I apologize for not being able to read these games. Toast. So now that I've thought long and hard about it, I can go on to the next person. <laughs> oh wait, that's it. All right. I wish I knew what it said, but that's not their fault. Next. We're checking out this game, which Google Translate tells me is called, I cannot remember it, the limits of creativity and lack thereof. This is a story-based game completely in Portuguese. Um, basically, a comment like in their description said, if you're not a Portuguese speaker, you cannot play this game. So I'm going to read you the first couple of pages uh, via Google Translate. So yeah, it says you in the living room, you notice the TV, the book, the sofa, the Wii U and key, I guess. You can go to the hallway of the garage. The room is pretty small, has white floors and beige walls and two doors. One that leads to the garage and the other that leads to the hallway. There is a black rack that holds some consoles, TVs, the TV and many books. Um, in, front of the TV, in front of the television is a blue love seat. Okay, so I can go to the garage if I wanted. So then I moved on the map and there's more stuff. Unfortunately, I'm not a Portuguese speaker, so I can't really play this game. I have to translate it line by line in Google and hope it translates well. Um, but if you're interested in a story-based game, it's got an interesting title, The Limits of Creativity and Lack Thereof, and it looks very well made just the way we moved the map and everything. Next. <laughs> 